Karim Busan Asa. Thank you. Thank you so much for mm-hmm. honoring our invitation mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. And today he's here with us in studio to discuss about his new book called The 21 Qualities of a Spiritual Leader Yo. that has been forwarded by our very own Bishop Dr. Thomas Mude and some of the uh, things that uh, he has written in this book that jumps out uh, out of me in the in the forwarding is that men of quality leadership are scarce in mm. our days mm. there is an alarming need in the world today for spiritual leaders and why do you think so reverend thank you very much for uh, this uh, golden opportunity to mm. also uh, interact with one of my book mm. i just wrote this book the other day mm-hmm. is 21 qualities of a spiritual leader mm-hmm. becoming a leader worth following mm-hmm. um the uh, as a servant of god mm-hmm. and as just as you have just said mm-hmm. um bishop thomas forwarded this book mm-hmm. and i in indeed he says that men of quality leadership mm-hmm. are scarce in our days mm-hmm. and that is exactly what is happening mm-hmm. we we are lacking in leadership mm-hmm. i begin by saying that mm-hmm. the hope of this nation mm-hmm. is in leadership the mm-hmm. hope of uh, africa is in leadership mm-hmm. the hope of the world is in leadership mm-hmm. and the hope of the families is in leadership mm-hmm. and therefore the failures and the struggle and mm-hmm. the challenges that you are seeing today mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um all around uh, our lives mm-hmm. is because of lack of leadership and mm-hmm. for sure what bishop meant when he forwarded my book that mm-hmm. uh, um uh men of quality mm-hmm. are in scarce today mm-hmm. um it's because when you look at everything around us mm-hmm. there is lack of leadership mm-hmm. in this nation we are lacking good leadership mm-hmm. the church is lacking good leadership mm-hmm. and this is why mm-hmm. um we are having so many challenges mm-hmm. if you look at um mm-hmm. africa mm-hmm. we are the richest continent mm-hmm. but we are lacking in leadership mm-hmm. um and that is where the whole problem is coming from mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. and today mm-hmm. um i would like to share about um what leadership is not because mm-hmm. i think mm-hmm. one of the biggest challenge mm-hmm. is that people don't understand leadership mm-hmm. and those who seem to understand it don't understand it correctly mm-hmm. leadership is a subject that pe- people have really studied mm-hmm. uh so much mm-hmm. but they understand it little mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. many people want leadership positions mm-hmm. but they don't possess leadership mm-hmm. leadership is something everybody is trying to talk about mm-hmm. but not not everybody is trying to exemplify mm-hmm. uh leadership in their lives mm-hmm. and today uh, mm-hmm. in my first mm-hmm. chapter mm-hmm. i i have begun by discussing what leadership is not mm-hmm. we always say a good teacher always mm-hmm. begins by saying <laughs> what uh, what something is not <laughs> before you say <laughs> what it is mm-hmm. uh because uh sometimes when you just teach what it is mm-hmm. you may add on top of mm-hmm. many other things that people mm-hmm. think something is uh-huh. so we're going to begin by looking at mm-hmm. what leadership is not mm-hmm. and i think that is enough for today mm-hmm. uh for our viewers mm-hmm. and every person who is listening to us mm-hmm. because uh um when you have wrong understanding mm-hmm. of leadership mm-hmm. you cannot treat leadership properly we normally mm-hmm. say when the meaning of something is not clearly understood mm-hmm. abuse is inevitable mm-hmm. and therefore mm-hmm. one of the areas that people are lacking leadership is uh, rather lacking mm-hmm. understanding mm-hmm. is in what leadership is not mm-hmm. so number one, mm-hmm. leadership is not seniority mm-hmm. or a position mm-hmm. and uh, you can have a position mm-hmm. but you don't have leadership mm-hmm. you can be a manager mm-hmm. you can be a supervisor mm-hmm. you can be um a pastor mm-hmm. you can be a boss mm-hmm. you can be a director mm-hmm. but you completely lack leadership because mm-hmm. leadership mm-hmm. is not about position mm-hmm. many people think that uh, when you get a position mm-hmm. is when you become a leader mm-hmm. that is not the case mm-hmm. you are a leader mm-hmm. even when you don't have a position mm-hmm. I have seen mm-hmm. seen very excellent leaders who doesn't have positions mm-hmm. but they are very excellent mm-hmm. good team leaders mm-hmm. who doesn't have any kind of uh, mm-hmm. positions so that's why I, I discussed this in page 5 mm-hmm. that uh, mm-hmm. uh, it's not possible mm-hmm. uh, to 
completely see that when you have a position, you will mm -hmm. definitely have leadership. Mm -hmm. John Maxwell says that uh, position is the lowest level of leadership. Mm -hmm. because it's actually the entry point when wow. you get a position mm -hmm. you have entered into leadership mm -hmm. so it's the lowest mm -hmm. and therefore doesn't make one to mm -hmm. be really a leader mm -hmm. and um the other thing jesus said i think mm -hmm. this is matthew 20 25 mm -hmm. that uh anyone who want to be great mm -hmm. must be the servant wow. of the rest mm -hmm. um so if, if you want to be a great leader you must be a servant mm -hmm. servant first mm -hmm. then leadership um um can be concluded not to be mm -hmm. a position mm -hmm. or seniority. You mm -hmm. can be a senior mm -hmm. who lack leadership. You mm -hmm. can be a man with a position, mm -hmm. but uh, you lack leadership. Mm -hmm. Then number two, mm -hmm. leadership is not a title. Mm -hmm. um, many people think that uh, you are a leader <laughs> because you are called bishop, a pastor, manager, um, whatever title, mm -hmm. call it, mm -hmm. or name it. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, mm -hmm. titles don't make you a leader. Mm -hmm. And Henry Ford once said, mm -hmm. you don't have to have a title mm -hmm. to be a leader. Mm -hmm. Anybody can influence mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. You can inspire people mm -hmm. and direct them to mm -hmm. a certain direction to achieve a goal. Mm -hmm. And that certainly doesn't need to, um, you certainly doesn't need to have a title. Mm -hmm to be able to influence people. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this guy called um, mm -hmm. um, Robin Sharma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Robin Sharma says mm -hmm. that um, mm -hmm. every one of us has got power mm -hmm. to inspire, mm -hmm. to influence, mm -hmm. and uh, to elevate mm -hmm. each, um, uh, every person we meet mm -hmm. by, the, uh, by the gift of being a great example. And I believe everybody has the mm -hmm. power to be an example. Mm -hmm. And because leadership is mm -hmm. leading by example. Mm -hmm. And and uh, because everybody has that ability to do that, mm -hmm. therefore we can say you don't need a title mm -hmm. uh, to do exactly that. Wow. And I have met mm -hmm. many, many mm -hmm. nice leaders mm -hmm. who possess no title. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jesus Christ himself did not have a title of a manager, mm -hmm. a director, mm -hmm. or anything. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. he was a servant. Mm -hmm. But uh, we all know mm -hmm. he is the greatest leader wow. ever lived mm -hmm. without a title. A man who had mm -hmm. no title, mm -hmm. but he led well. Wow. And number three mm -hmm. is that uh, leadership is not genetic. <laughs> <laughs> leadership is not genetic. Uh, it is not something you born with. Uh, you are born with. Uh, I hear people every now and then saying, uh, "Leaders are born." Uh, others say leaders are made. Uh, but the truth is, uh, yes, you may be born with some traits of leadership in you, but they need to uh -huh. be developed. Uh -huh. uh, those leadership traits need to be nurtured, uh -huh. um, and therefore we can say it is almost a myth uh -huh. to say that uh, good leaders are born. Uh -huh. I would mm -hmm. say mm -hmm. good leaders mm -hmm. are made. Mm -hmm. The kind of a person I am mm -hmm. is uh, is out of mm -hmm. making process. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, um, Matthew chapter 4, verse 18, mm -hmm. that uh, when he was called, choosing his disciples, he said, come, mm -hmm. follow me. Mm -hmm. I will make you mm -hmm. fishers of men. Mm -hmm. Now, when he's, he called his first disciple, he said, come, mm -hmm. follow me, mm -hmm. I'll make you. Mm -hmm. Now, the issue of him making them mm -hmm. simply tells you that leaders mm -hmm. are actually made. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. They are not born. Mm -hmm. You don't just correct a number of people from everywhere mm -hmm. and uh, probably think that because you have selected one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, ten, mm -hmm. now this one can lead. Mm -hmm. Even when we do selection, mm -hmm. we have to subject people to a making process. Mm -hmm. We have to prepare them. We have mm -hmm. to train them. We mm -hmm. have to do capacity building mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. leaders are not born. Mm -hmm. They are made. Wow. And uh, mm -hmm. when I say it's not genetic, mm -hmm. it doesn't come from your family. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come from your um, uh, DNA. Mm -hmm. it, it is not a, a, a DNA that is possessed by a number mm -hmm. from different families. Mm -hmm. Leaders mm -hmm. are made, mm -hmm. they are made mm -hmm. through a number of, and in my book, I think I've discussed um, mm -hmm. yeah, how yeah. leadership mm -hmm. uh, leaders are made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because capacities and competencies of leadership mm -hmm. 
uh, comes with uh, with the uh, with with the time mm -hmm. and through a process mm -hmm. and uh, i would want to touch on something in my book in in page 8 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that uh, leadership is learned mm -hmm. and it is learned through the following mm -hmm. ways one mm -hmm. of them you learn leadership by observing mm -hmm. uh, you can learn leadership by observing wow. other leaders mm -hmm. how they lead mm -hmm. and you are able to capture mm -hmm. uh, here and there mm -hmm. on how to become a leader so mm -hmm. you can observe good leadership mm -hmm. and you start learning leadership mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you can also observe bad leadership mm -hmm. and also <laughs> become a bad leader um, <laughs> that is true um, you know they, no, they normally say that the best leadership is leadership by example mm -hmm. and therefore that example can be good mm -hmm. can be bad example mm -hmm. um, the kind of a leader you follow mm -hmm. will also determine your leadership mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. If you follow a bad leader, mm -hmm. you don't choose mm -hmm. to become a good leader or bad leader. You mm -hmm. just become like your leader. Mm -hmm. You are like your father. Mm -hmm. um, if your leader has a challenge mm -hmm. and you are not aware, mm -hmm. you end up taking those kind of um, qualities and behaviors. Mm -hmm. So leadership is learned through mm -hmm. observation. Mm -hmm. Just like children, mm -hmm. those who follow us mm -hmm. learn from us. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes we teach leadership without talking. Mm -hmm. uh, you just mm -hmm. behave, you just act, you mm -hmm. just talk, mm -hmm. you just move, mm -hmm. have your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And remember, uh, people who follow you are watching. And I want to tell everybody who is listening to mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. that when we wake up every day, mm -hmm. remember that um, mm -hmm. as a leader, people are watching you, mm -hmm. following you. Mm -hmm. And they are going to learn to be like you, whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's leadership by imitation. Mm -hmm. People learn leadership through observation. Uh, number two is experience. Mm -hmm. The other way you leaders are made, mm -hmm. they are made through experience. And this is when you give people an opportunity mm -hmm. to experience leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, we normally say that um, uh, through difficulty, mm -hmm challenges mm -hmm. and struggles of leadership mm -hmm. you learn to lead mm -hmm. uh, it's it's really never a good thing but it's the best thing because mm -hmm. when you have an opportunity mm -hmm. experience teaches you leadership sometimes these experiences are very painful mm -hmm. some of the leadership qualities uh, i possess today mm -hmm. probably i didn't have them five years mm -hmm. uh, uh, five years ago mm -hmm. The challenges I've gone through in the ministry, mm -hmm. my, the challenges I've gone through in my workplace, mm -hmm. the challenges I've gone through in my relationships, mm -hmm. the challenges I've gone through in my marriage, mm -hmm. uh, my family, mm -hmm. uh, they have not left me without lessons on how to be a good leader. Mm -hmm. You learn what to, to do mm -hmm. and what not to do many times by experience. And experience mm -hmm. uh, really takes you to a school where mm -hmm. your foolishness becomes uh the source of your wisdom mm -hmm. so you act foolishly mm -hmm. you learn mm -hmm. um, how not to do things mm -hmm. as you go mm -hmm. uh, so leadership can be learned by experience mm -hmm. and then the other thing number three i've also mm -hmm. talked about formal training mm -hmm. um, you can learn leadership in class you can le learn leadership in mm -hmm. in school mm -hmm. um, i personally have mm -hmm. uh, attended a number of schools uh, to just learn leadership mm -hmm. and i think this has been a uh, my passion. Mm -hmm. Anywhere there is a seminar on leadership I want to attend, mm -hmm. any book on leadership I want to read, mm -hmm. I think I have more books on leadership than suits. Mm -hmm. well, um, I have well, more books uh, on leadership mm -hmm. than clothes. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the reasons why I buy books on every day, mm -hmm. reading books on leadership, is because I realize mm -hmm. I don't have to learn everything by experience. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. you just need to Wow. Uh, go to school. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you go to school through the books written by other people on mm -hmm. leadership. Mm -hmm. And then the, the fourth one mm -hmm. is on the job training mm -hmm. or rather on the job mentor, uh, mm -hmm. mentorship. Mm -hmm. You can learn leadership mm -hmm. by practicing leadership with a mentor. Mm -hmm. uh, a mentor keep on e evaluating your, mm -hmm. your experience. Mm -hmm. Um, what I mean here mm -hmm. is that uh, your mentor is able to help you mm -hmm as you do the job. Mm -hmm. You are leading, mm -hmm. but you're also being mentored. Mm -hmm. um, 
we call this on the job mentoring. Mm -hmm. so I allow people to become leaders, mm -hmm. but we mentor them. Mm -hmm. This is what I've done mm -hmm. in our church mm -hmm. to help uh, people even learn to preach, learn mm -hmm. to lead. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the pastors who preach on the altar, sometimes mm -hmm. we prepare the sermon together wow. mm -hmm. and then they preach. Then we discuss about that, uh, that sermon. Mm -hmm. And that way, mm -hmm. it's uh, on, on the job mentoring mm -hmm. because they're able to do it. Mm -hmm. um, then we can discuss about it. Mm -hmm. Then they can do it again. And eventually you realize they wow. perfect mm -hmm. the skill. Mm -hmm. They perfect the, the their abilities mm -hmm. on how to deliver uh, powerful sermons. Mm -hmm. It's on the job mentoring. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, mm -hmm. the other way people can learn leadership mm -hmm. is try and error. <laughs> <laughs> try and error is just try. Um, as you make mistakes, you learn from them. There's no, there's no great teacher in this world like learning from your mistakes. Um, I must also help you understand that um, not all mistakes teach you leadership. Because all mistakes need to be evaluated so that learning can take place. So we try, mm -hmm. we fail, mm -hmm. trial and error. Mm -hmm. And as you keep on trying, as you keep on struggling, mm -hmm. you'll finally end up becoming mm -hmm. um, uh, becoming a leader mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. through trial and error, mm -hmm. mistakes, learning, mm -hmm. discovery, mm -hmm. self-discovery, mm -hmm. self-awareness mm -hmm. is coming out mm -hmm. clearly. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. divine endowment mm -hmm. is, um, mm -hmm. is number six. Mm -hmm is divine enablement. There are times um, leadership mm -hmm. um, is taught by God and the Holy Spirit. Wow. Sometimes God can just empower you mm -hmm. because leadership is also a gift. Mm -hmm. There's also a grace, mm -hmm. uh, a level of grace that mm -hmm. God gives to his children to lead. So mm -hmm. you can have leadership grace mm -hmm. and you can have leadership gift. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can also be empowered by the Holy Spirit to mm -hmm. do what you have never done before. Mm -hmm. This is the case with Solomon. You remember when mm -hmm. uh, David was really crying mm -hmm. that God, mm -hmm. my son cannot build your temple, mm -hmm. but God said, I'll help him. Mm -hmm. He does that. Mm -hmm. He gives people mm -hmm. wisdom. Mm -hmm. um, but I must also say, mm -hmm. this does not always happen. Mm -hmm. If uh, leadership is all about from uh, receiving from God, mm -hmm. then I think all leaders could be doing very well. Mm -hmm. but this occasionally God chooses whom mm -hmm. to empower. Mm -hmm. uh, he chooses whom to give uh, leadership. Mm -hmm. he, he, he chooses whom to use in which way. Mm -hmm. And number four, mm -hmm. we, we've been talking about what mm -hmm. leadership is not. not and yeah. uh, number four, <laughs> leadership is not <laughs> educational degrees. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are people when they finish their diplomas, uh. now I want to be a pastor. Well. <laughs> they finish their diploma. Uh, now I'm looking for for a position of a manager. Uh -huh. You can have all those mm -hmm. uh, diploma, degrees, PhDs, uh -huh. masters, uh -huh. and still lack leadership. Mm -hmm. And the funniest thing, mm -hmm. the opposite also the, also the, uh, important mm -hmm. that you can also mm -hmm. um, uh, you can also lack any kind of educational uh, papers, mm -hmm. but still possess leadership. Wow. So leadership is not about the level of education mm -hmm. because even those who have been to school mm -hmm. sometimes lack leadership. Mm -hmm. And those who have never been into school mm -hmm. sometimes do possess leadership. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. And therefore, mm -hmm. what I normally say, mm -hmm. education does not make you a leader. Mm -hmm. uh, you may become educated, mm -hmm. but you may not become a leader because mm -hmm. you have been in school. Mm -hmm. Actually, one of the things that shocks me is how the more you learn, mm -hmm. the more life is not making sense. Mm -hmm. um, you see someone who was making a lot of sense when they had diplomas and degrees. Mm -hmm. As you, they progress master's degree to PhD, mm -hmm. uh, leadership is, things are not making sense. Mm -hmm. They are not able to touch <laughs> life with the realities, uh, uh, with the, the realities that is coming with it. Uh -huh. um, it's really becoming challenging. Mm -hmm. um, so the higher you mm -hmm. study mm -hmm. doesn't really mean you're mm -hmm. going to be a leader. You are a leader even before you have that degree. Uh, um, and if you cannot measure your level of leadership mm -hmm. without any papers you are holding in your hands, mm -hmm. then you don't have any kind of leadership in you. Uh, leadership is there even before you mm -hmm. have those papers, degrees, mm -hmm. uh, and so forth. Number five, mm -hmm. 
leadership is not management. Mm -hmm. I know these terminologies are used uh -huh. interchangeably. Uh -huh. um, uh, sometimes you see um, mm -hmm. in management, mm -hmm. you exercise power and control. Mm -hmm. But in leadership, you mm -hmm. influence mm -hmm. and inspire. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I have another book mm -hmm. uh, called uh, Understanding mm -hmm. the Church mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And I talk about uh, in church management, we, mm -hmm. we, we differentiate between managing the church and mm -hmm. leading the church. Mm -hmm. And when we do management, we exercise power and control to make mm -hmm. things are done. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about leadership mm -hmm. is when the leader is able to inspire, mm -hmm. to influence, mm -hmm. to to show mm -hmm. the way and be the first to walk the way. Mm -hmm. Managers um, are very good at putting these, uh, putting orders mm -hmm. in place, mm -hmm. establishing policies, mm -hmm. and making sure everybody is following them on mm -hmm. a daily basis. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. leadership is not management. Mm -hmm. They are totally different. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then number five, lead, uh, number six, leadership mm -hmm. is not about personality. personality. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you can have, um, you can have, you can be, mm -hmm. um, you know, when we talk about personality, we are talking about how you are wired, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how God wired all of us. Mm -hmm. You can be an extrovert. Mm -hmm. Extrovert are those people who are outgoing, mm -hmm. talkative, mm -hmm. uh, people, people. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can be an extrovert mm -hmm. or you can be an introvert. Mm -hmm. Those quiet, isolated mm -hmm. uh, uh, people mm -hmm. who, who who guard their territories mm -hmm. and um, they are not really outgoing, they are mm -hmm. reserved. Mm -hmm. So you can be an extrovert or an introvert mm -hmm. and still lack leadership. Uh, you can be outgoing mm -hmm. or reserved mm -hmm. and still uh, lack leadership. Mm -hmm. Um, you can you can be a sanguine, mm -hmm. you can be a choleric, mm -hmm. you can be phlegmatic, mm -hmm. you can be melancholy, mm -hmm. um, and still lack mm -hmm. leadership. Mm -hmm. It's not about a personality. Mm -hmm. Actually, all personalities can possess leadership, mm -hmm. but not all personalities exemplify good leadership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, every personality need adjustment, mm -hmm. uh, need nurturing, mm -hmm. uh, need uh, capacity building, mm -hmm. spiritual formation mm -hmm. for leadership to start manifesting mm -hmm. in them. Mm -hmm. um, I see people who have very strong personalities mm -hmm. who lack leadership. Mm -hmm. And you see some weak personalities who are very strong leaders. Mm -hmm. Um, what I understand is the Holy Spirit is able to mm -hmm. use any personality mm -hmm. um, and any personality can be trained to mm -hmm. be an effective leader. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. the other thing I also want you to understand because mm -hmm. leadership is about, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's about relationships. Mm -hmm. It's about your ability to relate mm -hmm. well with others wow. mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. credibility, mm -hmm. passion, conviction, mm -hmm. and the ability to Larry men to a certain mm -hmm. direction. Mm -hmm. A leader, mm -hmm. uh, whichever personality mm -hmm. is knowing the way, mm -hmm. then walking the way, mm -hmm. and others following mm -hmm. without necessarily you forcing them mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. And any personality can do that. So leadership is not about a personality. I hear people say, mm -hmm. hey, that guy has a personality of a leader. Mm -hmm. And there's no one who has a personality <laughs> of a leader. Uh -huh. Everybody can become a leader mm -hmm. at whatever stage. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. Number seven, mm -hmm. leadership is not something possessed by a few. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. there are people think mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. I don't have leadership. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is for mm -hmm. so and so. Um, this is possessed by certain men, mm -hmm. certain women, mm -hmm. certain families. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. even poor mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. can have leadership mm -hmm. just as the way the leech can as well have leadership. Wow. Uh, it is not something mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. found in a peop uh, in, uh, in in few people. Mm -hmm. It is uh, something that can be found in anybody. And everybody can have capacity to become a leader. Mm -hmm. In one of my books, I've written about why people are, uh, don't believe they can lead. Mm -hmm. One of them is because mm -hmm. um, nobody has ever told them that they can lead. Mm -hmm. Nobody has ever told them that mm -hmm. you are a leader. Mm -hmm. if, you, if Mr. Eric today, mm -hmm. nobody is going to tell you that you are a leader, mm -hmm. you may end up believing you are not. Mm -hmm. So we need to help people understand that they are leaders mm -hmm. even before they have position, mm -hmm. they have titles, mm -hmm. or even before they are given a chance. Mm -hmm. um, they are leaders. Mm -hmm. 
one of the reasons why people don't believe they are leaders because nobody has ever told them that they are leaders. Number two, mm -hmm. why people don't believe they are leaders mm -hmm. is because mm -hmm. they have been told so many times mm -hmm. they are not. Um, mm -hmm. For every for everyone mm -hmm. you can, mm -hmm. you hear seven, you can't. Um, when you get out of this door mm -hmm. and go out there, mm -hmm. you you hear a lot of you can't, mm -hmm. you can't. Mm -hmm. For everyone you can, mm -hmm. you hear seven, you can't. Mm -hmm. And that is why people are not able to get out and do much. Mm -hmm. Because from their childhood, mm -hmm. uh, uh, from their family, mm -hmm. a lot of you can't. Mm -hmm. From uh, Then they go to their primary school, to their mm -hmm. secondary school, to mm -hmm. their colleges, mm -hmm. to their church, mm -hmm. and in the society. Mm -hmm. People like telling each other, mm -hmm. I don't think you can do that. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can do that? So many people don't believe mm -hmm. uh, they are leaders because mm -hmm. um, they have been told so many you can't. And um, the moment mm -hmm. that you can't get into the systems of your brain, mm -hmm. you lose it. Um, then the third reason and the last one, mm -hmm. why people mm -hmm. don't uh, believe they are leaders mm -hmm. is because um, um, mm -hmm. nobody has ever given them a chance to lead. I believe um, sometimes people need to be tested, mm -hmm. give them a chance, mm -hmm. let them prove themselves otherwise. Mm -hmm. Nobody has given them a chance. Mm -hmm. And maybe I could say even the fourth one mm -hmm. that um, mm -hmm. uh, even when they become leaders, nobody mm -hmm. have gotten a chance to mm -hmm. tell them mm -hmm. um, that they have leadership. Mm -hmm. And nobody has given them a chance mm -hmm. to do leadership, mm -hmm. and nobody has trained them wow. to be leaders. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it is not something possessed mm -hmm. by a few, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, if it's not something possessed by a few, therefore mm -hmm. we can conclude and say leaders mm -hmm. are not born, they are made. Mm -hmm. So made. <laughs> anybody can be made. Uh -huh. And leadership can be learned, uh -huh. like any other wow. skill. Uh -huh. We can as well say, mm -hmm. not the reason why we don't have leaders is because not everybody wants to learn leadership. Uh -huh. <laughs> and not everybody who learn leadership understand it. Mm -hmm. I know there are so many people learning it, mm -hmm. but very few people are mm -hmm. understanding leadership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not something possessed by a few. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that can be possessed by anybody. Mm -hmm. As long as you have a chance, mm -hmm. exposure, mm -hmm. to, to learn leadership, mm -hmm. exercise leadership, mm -hmm. And uh, you're also mm -hmm. getting a chance to be mentored into mm -hmm. leadership. Wow. And um, becoming a leader is a process. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't think uh, mm -hmm. many people are willing to pay the price mm -hmm. of becoming a leader. Mm -hmm. When Jesus said, come, mm -hmm. follow me, uh -huh. I'll make you. Mm -hmm. That making uh -huh. process, mm -hmm. I don't think many people are, are ready to <laughs> undergo the, uh -huh. th through the process. Uh -huh. God is also called the refiner, mm -hmm. the refiner, <laughs> Jehovah uh -huh. refiner. Uh -huh. um, he's the one who refine people mm -hmm. to become what you want. Mm -hmm. I compare mm -hmm. leadership uh, to a potter's house. Mm -hmm. God is making us what he wants us to become. Mm -hmm. And many people don't want to pay the price of becoming. Mm -hmm. They don't want to persevere through the process. Mm -hmm. And that's why people think it's mm -hmm. leadership is something possessed by a few. Wow. And lastly, mm -hmm. um, uh, leadership is not something you mm -hmm. become with age. Mm -hmm. People think that uh, because I'm young, <laughs> I don't qualify to be a leader. <laughs> and um, sometimes <laughs> age comes alone. Uh -huh. <laughs> you age is just coming alone <laughs> you celebrate every birthday uh, but leadership is not coming with age <laughs> leadership is not coming with age uh, and um the there's this man in the bible uh, uh, erihu mm -hmm. erihu was one of the youngest friends of job mm -hmm. After listening to these elderly men, mm -hmm. friends, mm -hmm. um, he says in Job 32 verse 9, mm -hmm. it is not the old who are wise, mm -hmm. <laughs> nor the aged who understand what is right. Mm -hmm. So you can be, you can be growing older mm -hmm. and older mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. becoming, um, you, rather you are progressing in your years. Mm -hmm. 
but you are not coming with your leadership as you go. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. age does not always mm-hmm. speak mm-hmm. in leadership. Mm-hmm because you need to be made and you can mm-hmm. be you can be mm-hmm. progressing in mm-hmm. age mm-hmm. but learning bad things mm-hmm. uh, learning leadership wrongly mm-hmm. so you can see a young person mm-hmm. if they start leadership on the right foot mm-hmm. who are wiser mm-hmm. in matters leading mm-hmm. than than those who have mm-hmm. progressed in years mm-hmm. so leadership mm-hmm. is not mm-hmm. about age mm-hmm. You can teach a young person leadership mm-hmm. just the way you can teach an elderly mm-hmm. person leadership mm-hmm. and any can teach the other mm-hmm. um i know it is very important to respect mm-hmm. the elderly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's also good for the elderly to understand mm-hmm. as i grow mm-hmm. and become mature in age mm-hmm. doesn't mean i know everything mm-hmm. the way it should be known mm-hmm. doesn't mean i understand leadership mm-hmm. um i want you to imagine a person who have grown just comparing this to a marriage mm-hmm. a person who have grown in marriage mm-hmm. in the marriage mm-hmm. fighting your wife mm-hmm. and now you are 70 years you're still fighting mm-hmm. do you say you have the best experience no. do you say no, that no. you know how marriage should should look like no, no. do you say that you are the best example mm-hmm. so you can grow mm-hmm. and become old mm-hmm. but um, you are growing with your old nature mm-hmm. unchanged mm-hmm. you are growing with your old habits mm-hmm. that need to be cracked mm-hmm. you are also growing with your ignorance mm-hmm. so it's good to understand that leadership does not come with age mm-hmm. sometimes age comes alone wow. and uh, therefore i wish to mm-hmm. um put it to that juncture mm-hmm. and also help you understand that mm-hmm. um, the best way mm-hmm. to learn leadership is to begin by understanding mm-hmm. what, what it is, it is not, not. <laughs> yeah. oh, wow the 21 qualities of a spiritual leader because yes and, and that is uh, the first chapter i've uh-huh. just talked about uh-huh. here i uh-huh. decided to just put it there before i talk about the qualities uh-huh. um but if uh-huh. someone want to read this book uh-huh. this book is available uh-huh. um uh, it has quite uh-huh. a lot wow. a lot uh-huh. And um I've said this book can be used in two or three ways. Mm-hmm. One you can buy this book mm-hmm. and uh, read it for yourself. Mm-hmm. It's such a powerful book. Mm-hmm. It blesses me yes, every now is. and then. It is it is. And um mm-hmm. it's one of my best selling book. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, of all the books I've written, mm-hmm. this has really sold. Wow. Um it's really selling. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. and um one of the thing I want to encourage mm-hmm. anyone who may need this book. Mm-hmm. is that you can use it to lead for yourself mm-hmm. it can also be used uh, in a group discussion mm-hmm. oh, yeah. it can also be taught in the church mm-hmm. if the pastor mm-hmm. is lacking a tool to develop leaders uh-huh. Here it this is, is where <laughs> it can all start uh-huh. and uh, this is why i wrote this book mm-hmm. is after observing church leaders mm-hmm. and i realize people are willing mm-hmm. but they even don't possess the qualities so mm-hmm. sometimes mm-hmm. self awareness is important mm-hmm. i make sure that this book mm-hmm. um becomes a tool mm-hmm. to evaluate yourself mm-hmm. at the last page you can see mm-hmm. i've put what mm-hmm. we call self assessment uh-huh. you assess uh-huh. yourself uh-huh. and to see whether uh-huh. you are strongly poor uh-huh. slightly poor uh-huh. not sure uh-huh. or uh-huh. you really need help uh-huh. as people take uh, really uh-huh. take this book as a bible study tool uh-huh. it can transform um you are leaders mm-hmm. in the church mm-hmm. in the workplace mm-hmm. and uh, the other way is mm-hmm. this book also need to be in your library mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. you can as well have it in your mm-hmm. library so you can be reading a chapter mm-hmm. every now and then when mm-hmm. you need to learn wow. leadership wow. But it's it's a it's a it's a wealth of leadership mm-hmm. and i believe anybody can benefit mm-hmm. from this book wow good indeed this is powerful 21 qualities of a spiritual leader becoming a leader worth, worth following. following because some are not worth following <laughs> <laughs> and mm. this morning the author has mm. just described to us the first chapter only imagine what is there in the next 20 if this mm-hmm. is just one yeah. but uh, the yeah. first one telling us and i see the importance of where you start with defining what a leader is not we have to exactly. destroy those perceptions and yeah. myths that mm. we have about mm. leadership mm-hmm. leadership is not a position 
leadership is not a title leadership is not genetic leadership is not educational degrees mm-hmm. in fact in the in the book you say it uh, it is a uh, uh, degrees are a proof that you got educated but yes. not a leader it is just mm-hmm. a proof mm-hmm. so leadership is not management leadership is not a personality leadership is not something possessed by few and the leadership does not come by age. and you, and you know what mr <laughs> eric uh-huh. um <laughs> At some point, I took all my degrees. Mm-hmm. And, um, my file is big, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and I decided to kneel down on it. Mm-hmm. And I told God, I surrender all that I know mm-hmm. that you may teach me mm-hmm. how to lead your people mm-hmm. and to do your work. Mm-hmm. Sometimes mm-hmm. Um, we need to get to that point where mm-hmm. um, don't brag mm-hmm. about your education. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And don't even think that mm-hmm. it is all that you needed. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes you need to surrender mm-hmm. all those papers, mm-hmm. all those degrees, mm-hmm. and humble yourself before God, mm-hmm. and He is able to use you mightily. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe I I I I have really encouraged people to go to school. Mm-hmm. I'm a trainer, mm-hmm. I'm a principal of a school, mm-hmm. but I must also tell you. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that uh, with education Mm -hmm. alone, Mm -hmm. you are able to lead. Mm -hmm. Sometimes surrender them Mm -hmm. under the feet of Jesus Christ Mm -hmm. and also allow Mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit to Mm -hmm. teach you how to lead his children. Wow. Wow. So mm-hmm. uh, that's very important very to note. Very powerful. Mm-hmm. Very powerful. Yeah. Eight things right there which a leader is not. And now chapter two deals with what is a leader. But here had to say me so that you can buy the book. Mm. Tell us how we can get this book. Yeah, this book, uh, you can be able to get this book. You just need to, to um, mm-hmm. get the phone number mm-hmm. and you're able to make your order mm-hmm. uh, or, um, or your email address mm-hmm. and uh, we are able mm-hmm. to Mm-hmm. connect to you mm-hmm. and this book mm-hmm. can be shipped to mm-hmm. anybody wherever they are in wow. this country mm-hmm. um and uh for those who are maybe watching from outside this mm-hmm. country mm-hmm. there's an arrangement on how they can be able to get the book wow. mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. if you want to get this book mm-hmm. uh the phone number is 0725 0725-46-53-19 46 mm-hmm. 53 mm-hmm. 19. Or someone can write directly to mm-hmm. Mahoya Sami mm-hmm. Mahoya Sami mm-hmm. 2017 mm-hmm. at Gmail. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mahoya Sami 2017 uh, at gmail.com. Gmail. And as you get this book, mm-hmm. you can use it in three ways. Mm-hmm. Um, I encourage every pastor to have this book in their mm-hmm. to have this book in their mm-hmm. in their library. Mm-hmm. One is to develop their own leadership mm-hmm. because uh, sometimes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. leaders encourage themselves mm-hmm. <laughs> when they are doing the wrong things. Uh-huh. And then uh, the other thing, mm-hmm. um, I encourage every pastor to have this book, mm-hmm. every leader to have this book. Mm-hmm to be able to use it to gauge mm-hmm. and evaluate the kind of people they want mm-hmm. in leadership. Mm-hmm. So you can use wow. it as an evaluating, mm-hmm. um, a, a tool for evaluation. Mm-hmm. And thirdly, mm-hmm. um, a church member can as well have this book mm-hmm. and uh, use this book to evaluate mm-hmm. the kind of a leader worth following mm-hmm. and try to understand mm-hmm. good leaders mm-hmm and evaluate them uh, Mm -hmm. based on these 21 qualities. I know Mm -hmm. there are more qualities. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think I almost thought of writing another Mm -hmm. volume on leadership qualities Mm -hmm. because I realized I left out so much (laughs) to be (laughs) desired Uh in leadership. Uh But everyone can Mm -hmm. be able to use this book. So Mm -hmm. if you need it, Mm -hmm. the number Mm -hmm. and the email address, Mm -hmm. the book can be delivered Mm -hmm. to you. How much is the book? The, uh, this book goes at 1,000 shillings. 1,000 shillings mm-hmm. only. Wow. Only. Only. Yes. Only. But what is inside this book uh-huh. is more than can, a cannot be bought. You said you own more leadership books than suits. <laughs> I have so many leader, so uh-huh. many books than mm-hmm. suits. Mm-hmm. If you are a leader uh-huh. and you have more suits than books, uh-huh. you have a problem. Because <laughs> <laughs> Because... Um, <laughs> If you are not le- uh-huh. reading, uh-huh. you cannot effectively lead. Uh-huh. And when they say when you stop reading, stop leading. Wow. 
Uh, so right there. there is a lot of wealth in books. Uh, you have to make that sacrifice. It's just a thousand Kenya shillings. Just a thousand shillings. Uh-huh. I think I have bought books worth, maybe I could have spent over a million shillings with books. I don't know, because I started buying books mm-hmm. many years ago. The mm-hmm. electronic books, I think I have over 2,000 books. Um, uh, the print copies, I can't count. Mm-hmm. There are so many of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, every day... Mm-hmm. I buy a, I bless myself mm-hmm. uh, with reading a chapter, mm-hmm. and um, anytime I am paid my salary, mm-hmm. the only way I pay back mm-hmm. to myself mm-hmm. is buying a book that can help me become a better leader. Wow! So it's not good to be a leader mm-hmm. who does not read. Mm-hmm. It's very very dangerous. Dangerous. You need to cross fertilize your mind. Uh-huh. With uh, mm-hmm. with knowledge, mm-hmm. wisdom, mm-hmm. that's very important, mm-hmm. and it helps a lot. Wow, good. Call now zero seven two five forty six fifty three nineteen. Exactly zero seven two five forty six fifty three nineteen, or send an email to Mahoya Sami Mahoya Sami twenty seventeen at gmail dot com at gmail dot com and you get this book uh-huh. for a thousand Kenya shillings just a thousand Kenya shillings you are a reader in yep. this nation get this book it's going it's, to bless it's, it's you it's a powerful book for churches it is based on the spiritual uh, principles of the word of God right there the examples I've read the book it is based on biblical principles this is going to be a blessing in your whole life forever mm-hmm. Reverend give us some closing remarks uh, on this because we are lacking leadership in our nation and mm-hmm. in our churches please yeah. um my closing remark is mm-hmm. to tell the viewers Mm -hmm. that um, Mm -hmm. the hope Mm -hmm. of every institution is leadership. Mm -hmm. The hope of any company is in its leadership. Mm -hmm. The hope of every family is Mm -hmm. in its leadership. If you have a bad leader Mm -hmm. as a husband, that Mm -hmm. family is going nowhere. Mm -hmm. The hope of a church Mm -hmm. is in its leadership. Mm -hmm. If the church doesn't have good leadership, Mm -hmm. it is going nowhere. Mm Um, the hope of mm-hmm. Africa mm-hmm. is in good leadership mm-hmm. and the hope mm-hmm. of this world mm-hmm. is in good leaders mm-hmm. without good mm-hmm. leadership mm-hmm. nothing good come mm-hmm. to, comes out wow. of anything so mm-hmm. I conclude by telling mm-hmm. every every person listening mm-hmm. to me mm-hmm. let's try and become good leaders mm-hmm. that is where mm-hmm. our hope comes mm-hmm. from Wow. Good. Wow. Let us uh, accept the grace of becoming one thing that has blessed my life this morning is knowing that all of us have the potential of being leaders. It does not belong to a particular personality of people, education, exactly. or background, or DNA. Mm-hmm. It is just by you subjecting yourself to the grace of becoming. You yourself making that decision. Mm. Start by making a decision to buy the book. <laughs> Everybody's a leader. Start here, <laughs> and you'll understand leadership. And um, as we face the day, you are a leader. You are a leader. Be blessed as you venture into that. Our special appreciation to Nashkuru Mungu Sana because of the gift and for the ability and for the grace, mm. indeed the amount of wealth that he has poured uh, over your life and you are effecting it on the body of Christ. Somewhere in the forward by our Bishop Dr. Thomas Mother, he says that your knowledge in the leadership has benefited us a lot. Mm. The Word of Faith Church and exactly. our beneficiary of that also have been mm-hmm. through your training Mm -hmm. and we thank God because of that. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.